Hey guys, this is Samad here from DIY King and in today's project video, we are going to build ourselves a pre-static pump by using commonly available hardware so that we can reduce its cost and effectivity as well. So have a look at how cool this little pump is and later on I'm going to show you how we can build one for ourselves. So let's get into the video. A pre-static pump produces pressure by mechanical constriction along a rubber tube causing the fluid to flow across the tube. This technique is useful when we need an isolation between the fluid and the mechanical parts of the pump. Moreover, the fluid can be pumped in either direction with precise control over the amount of liquid flowing through the tube. I have started by making the rotor using fiberglass sheet. This rotor is going to hold three bearings. To reduce friction between the router and stator housing, I've made some grooves on the inner side of the PVC spacers using file. To operate the pump in either direction, I decided to build a bi-directional speed controller. I have designed the schematic for a bi-directional speed controller that is based on LM324 motor driver IC. To drive large amount of currents, I have used N and P channel MOSFETs rather than transistors only. Besides that, to ensure a smooth operation, I have decided to build this speed controller on a printed circuit board rather than building the whole circuit on a puff board. So I have designed the PCB using this schematic and to order my PCBs I have visited jlcpcb.com. They are one of the largest PCB manufacturers in China. To order my PCBs I have uploaded the Gerber files and once they are uploaded I have checked out the options that are given below such as quantity thickness and the color of the PCBs as well. For the first order we can get as low as $2 for 10 PCBs and that includes the shipment cost right at your doorstep. Well the PCBs arrive within just a week and the quality seems flawless as you can see over here. So be sure to check out their website that is jlcpcb.com. 
Now for more details about this bi-directional speed controller, the list of the components, schematic and the Gerber files for the PCB, have a look at one of my previous video in which I've shown you how to build one. The link for that video is given at the top right corner of this video. Later, I soldered all the components onto the PCB as shown on the schematic. So guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, have a look at some of our other project videos as well. And if you are new to our channel, then consider subscribing by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be coming up with another one.